Hey, it's Rachel. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna do a what I eat in a day. So I'm gonna show you all of my meals, including the recipes and how I made all of those meals. I actually got the opportunity to try out a meal planning service. I'm gonna start off this video and say it is absolutely not sponsored. I was under no obligation to make this video. I am not being paid to make this video. I literally just got an email that was like, hey Rachel, wanna try this for free? And I was like, sure, why not? I am not a meal planner. Uh, which sometimes can cause problems, especially during the Whole30 when I didn't plan ahead and... But I just can't bring myself to sit down with a notebook and have all my recipes in front of me and try to figure out what to eat during the week. I just don't find that fun. And I'm also pretty simple when it comes to my meals. So you guys saw what I ate during my bikini prep. Those are the foods that I honestly like to eat even when I'm not prepping for a show. So things like rice, ground beef, chicken, just really plain and then I add spices to it to like make it interesting. But I was at work having lunch with a couple of my girlfriends and we were kind of complaining or they were kind of complaining about how hard it is to figure out what to eat because we wanna be healthy but there are certain foods that we don't like and we might get bored of eating the same thing and they have these meal planning services but it's more like here's all the food and my friend Laura was like I don't get home until like six or seven o'clock at night I don't really want food to be sitting on my front porch even if it's in like a container all day the company that reached out to me is called plate joy it is a only meal slash recipe planning company or app. They do not provide the food. But what makes it so special is it is super, super customizable. They must have some sort of algorithm within their computer thing that takes all of your preferences into account and finds recipes that fit exactly what you want. So I went ahead and I did like a screen grab of what it was like to kind of go through and what I could pick and not pick and let me just show you. So one of the things that I really liked about it was I was able to not only pick myself but also put Jake down. So I have two adults and if you have children you can add children. We put in our names which I thought was a cute touch, makes it kind of I don't know, personal, I guess. But this is the part that I really liked. So you could pick how you preferred to eat. And you can see right away, they do have Whole30 as an option. So if you are doing maybe your very first, first Whole30, you have no idea what you're doing, you can click Whole30 and you know all of the recipes that they give you will be Whole30 approved. You can also do things like paleo, clean eating, low carb, and then of course for all of my vegans, vegetarians, pescatarians, they do have that option. Um, but I went ahead and I just clicked clean eating, dairy free, and then gluten free. And they also had this really cool section where you could put what foods you prefer to avoid. And I was super, super excited to see mushrooms on there because I, oh guys, I just can't see stand mushrooms. But this was also really helpful because I could avoid things like soy and tofu and tree nuts. Um, because unfortunately, other than almonds, I have to cut tree nuts out. So it was really cool that I was able to select those. So you could decide whether or not you would only want to eat vegetables and fruits that are in season. They asked me if I ever ate bread or pasta and I don't, I don't eat gluten-free breads. We could decide if we wanted breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And then also they asked what I had in my kitchen. They asked what kind of milk do you prefer, which I think is very cool. And also what kind of rice, although I don't know if that really matters. But again, they had all these questions that just made it feel like it was super personalized. And I think the, I don't know, maybe the most important 
important part to a lot of you guys is they ask how much time do you have to make each recipe. So that is great if you are kind of in a rush. They did have time, so they would say like, oh, it only takes 10 minutes for this recipe. It takes 45 minutes for this recipe. Um, and I think that a lot of you guys will super, super like that part. So once you put all of your preferences, they take you to the next page where they have what's called a queue. And basically, it's kind of like a collection of recipes that you can look through and decide whether or not you like them, if there may be certain ingredients that you didn't think of that you would prefer not to eat. And then once you approve your queue, they will come up with a plan for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for how many people that you chose from those recipes from the queue and they take into account food waste or at least they say they do. Basically, if you are gonna buy a head of lettuce, they'll make sure that your lunch has lettuce and then also your dinner will have lettuce. That kind of thing just to, I don't know, like put the recipes together in the most logical order for you. Now, one thing that I noticed when I first did it and was looking at my queue, a lot of the recipes were still very low carb and very high fat. Now, all of the fats were great. They were things like olive oil and coconut milk and avocado and things like that. Lately, I have liked to eat just a little bit higher carb and a little bit lower fat. So far, my body has been responding to that. Uh, for those of you guys who eat high fat, low carb, you probably think it's great. But I did have to do a little tweaking to my preferences. I All I had to do was just click that I was eating low fat, and that completely changed the types of recipes that were in my queue to something which I think was a lot more balanced and included things like brown rice and sweet potato and things like that. So yeah, I was really happy with the three meals that they suggested and I wanted to go ahead and share those with you guys so you can kind of see what they were like. Yeah, so roll that footage. All right, so I got my Whole Foods Instacart order. One of the cool things about Plate Joy is you can see here on the app, they give you your grocery list for all of the meals that they are suggesting for you. But then there's this button that says order ingredients on Instacart and it is actually connected to my Instacart app and then get it delivered. So I thought I would do a quick grocery haul before I go ahead and make the first meal. So the first thing are garbanzo beans, three really giant, giant sweet potatoes. I've got some no pulp orange juice. That's gonna be for my first meal that I'm gonna make. I've got some free range chicken broth, bananas, lemons, an onion, organic cherry tomatoes, baby spinach, frozen blueberries, this is the pre-cooked quinoa. I got this Cedars Organic Hummus. You can take a look at the ingredients. Chickpeas, tahini, sunflower oil, olive oil, garlic, sea salt, lemon juice, and cumin. So that is what I ordered. So now let's go back to recipes. So it says Jake and Rachel's menu, and this is the menu. Blueberry quinoa smoothie, Mediterranean stuffed sweet potatoes with garlic herb chickpeas, one pot lemon garlic chicken with rice and spinach. It says it's gonna make take five minutes. It's gonna make two servings. I've got two and a third cups pre-cooked quinoa, two, cook, two cups frozen blueberries, a banana, the pomegranate molasses, which I am going to skip, one and a half cups orange juice, and then the half of lime, which I apparently don't own, so we're gonna skip that one too. They've got the instructions, which is basically just put in a blender, and then it tells us portion sizes. So let's make this. Step one, this organic white quinoa. It says it's steamable. Place unopened bag this side up in the microwave for four minutes.
So this is the final product. It is almost, almost 12. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook uh, lunch. So this is Mediterranean stuffed sweet potatoes with garlic herb chickpeas. I just realized this is also vegetarian, vegan, yeah. So if you do not eat meat, this might be a good recipe for you. But it says it should only take 15 minutes. So I've got two sweet potatoes, lemon. We're not gonna do the parsley just because Whole Foods didn't have any. Hummus, minced garlic, olive oil, the chickpeas slash garbanzo beans that I actually bought but should be same difference and cherry tomatoes. So this says in order to get it under the 15 minutes of cook time to actually cook the sweet potatoes in the microwave. And this is the final result. So not exactly Pinterest worthy. Okay guys, this is my very last meal for the day. We've got one pot lemon garlic chicken with rice and spinach. It says it's gonna take about 45 minutes. So I've got chicken breast, onion, uh, Whole Foods didn't have any parsley, so we're gonna skip that. Olive oil, garlic, brown rice, which I have a giant container of. Chicken broth, lemon, and spinach. So the very first thing said to cut chicken breast uh, peel onions. So I went ahead and I did that. This is three chicken breasts that I defrosted. And then I also cut up half an onion and two cloves of garlic. Heat olive oil over medium heat. Add garlic and onion, cook two minutes. So the chicken is cooking and I am going to add one cup of my organic long grain brown rice. One cup of rice uncooked in there. And uh, don't mind the mess. I'm going to go ahead and add two cups of this chicken broth. I took one of the lemons and I cut it and I added the lemon juice to the mixture. And it is also now boiling. Lower my heat to a simmer, cover it, and I'm gonna set my timer for 25 minutes. So I just realized I was actually supposed to add uh, spinach in there for the last couple of minutes and I forgot, but that's okay. We're just gonna skip it and I don't know, maybe I'll have like a little spinach salad. But as you can see, this is the final product. It looks pretty good. Um, yeah, we'll see how it tastes. So that was my full day of eating, but now on to what I think about plate joy. Let's do the positives first. I love how customizable it is. I loved all of the questions that they asked. It made me think like, oh yeah, they're gonna make the perfect choices for exactly what I want. I loved that they had choices for things like Whole30 or Paleo, gluten-free, and vegan, in case you guys are vegan. They did have that option. The other thing I loved about it was the recipes I thought were super creative, especially with the sweet potato and the chickpeas, like, what? Like I would have never come up with that. It was creative, but yet simple still. I think a lot of times when we find these super creative recipes online, they take like an hour and they're just like hard to cook and they end up sucking. So I loved that they were creative yet simple, if that makes any sense. And the best part of it, or the best part of using a meal planning service is you don't have to think about it. They just give you what you are going to eat, they give you all the recipes, and they give you the grocery list. But now to the negatives, and this would be a negative for me personally, and so when my subscription is up, I will not be renewing it and paying for it. But these might not be a negative for you, so I'm just gonna throw this out there and you guys can decide for yourself. Plate Joy is expensive. The normal subscription is $59 for six months, or I think it's like $89 for a year, and that's just 
you pay that all at once and then you get to use the service that whole time. Now they do have a free trial in case you guys just want to test that out. So that is an option, but $59 if you are on any sort of budget, it might seem kind of like a waste of money. At least it is for me, but I am totally cool with just like throwing some rice and chicken and being done with it. I don't need creative recipes to keep me happy, but I know a lot of you guys do. A lot of you have asked me for meal plans. A lot of my friends have talked about how they're constantly looking for new recipes. So if you are the type of person that would like creative recipes and you just don't mind paying the $59 to just having an algorithm do it for you and so you don't have to think totally totally for you but it just wasn't for me and the other thing with it was they try really hard to match up your groceries so that there's no waste but there's always going to be leftovers i think so for example we had that big carton of orange juice for the smoothies and now i have this carton of orange juice in my fridge that i'm not really sure what to do with there are also lots of ingredients that i don't normally buy so that's why i ended up not getting the pomegranate juice because i knew i'd never use it again and i wasn't about to spend the six dollars for pomegranate juice. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you are on any type of budget, just know you will be paying a little bit more than you probably normally do. And if it's worth it to you, you should do it. That's my honest review. The good news is if this sounded like exactly what you've been searching for and oh my gosh, Rachel, thank you for telling me about Plate Joy, they did give me a discount code. So I will go ahead and put that in the description box. That code is good until the end of October. So until October 31st, you can use my discount code if this is something that you're interested in trying. They also have that free 14 day trial. Let me know what you think if you've ever used other meal planning services, if you are interested in meal planning services, if you have a certain way that you meal plan that has nothing to do with an app. I don't know. Let's talk about meal plans in the comments below. Let's start talking. God, you're such a nerd. Okay, I'm ending this video because I'm starting to act silly and I need to go. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Hi, I have you balancing on a box. I really hope you don't fall over, but I am home. So obviously we're doing a Target haul because duh, right? I mean, that's, that's why you're watching this. Yeah. Anyway, okay, so we got cherry tomatoes. I got these because I have a big thing of kale and arugula in my fridge. So I think we're gonna do some salads so that I eat it up before it goes bad. I have, obviously, 96% Laura's Lean Ground Beef. I ate this every single day on bikini prep. Target is the only place that carries it that I know of. 